Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. I'm Brittany Schaefer. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Masari, and we're here today to talk about the spine. So, my first question for you, doctor, is what is the vertebral body fracture, and what are the main causes? The vertebral body fracture, you have to imagine like a collapse of one of the bone into your spine. Um, generally, it's defined like loss of 20% of the height. So, if you want to consider reference, we assume this is a normal vertebral body. Something that produces a collapse of this vertebral body or more than 20% is considered a vertebral body fracture. The most common cause is osteoporosis. So um, just to give you an idea of the magnitude of the problem, 1.5 million so fractures are related to osteoporosis and happen every year in the U.S. The most common immediately after osteoporosis is a neoplastic process. This means a cancer that unfortunately affects the spine and generate a collapse just because the tissue erodes progressively the spine and reduce the resistance of the bone. So he ended up to be with a collapse. What type of vertebral fractures are amenable for minimally invasive treatment? Generally, we treat the vertebral body that are painful. So they give a back pain to the patient. Uh, what is extremely important for us is that uh, in order to treat safely this uh, vertebral body fracture, we need to be sure there is no fragments into the spinal canal or there is no core compression. What is the difference between vertebroplasty and kyphoplasty? The vertebroplasty is a procedure, is a minimal invasive procedure, as being described for the first time in 1987 in France. Essentially, utilize bone cement injected through small cannulas into the vertebral body in order to stabilize the vertebral body and give pain relief to the patient. Kyphoplasty is an evolution, it's more recent evolution of the vertebroplasty. It involves also the utilization of a balloon that is going to lift the vertebral body in order to try to restore the original height before injecting cement into the vertebral body. What kind of vertebral fracture can be treated with the RFA treatment? RFA is an additional tool. Um, as we said before, in 15% of the cases, the vertebral body is going to have um, a fracture because it's a tissue that is eroding the vertebral body. The radiofrequency ablation is a tool that you place into the vertebral body, still with this kind of tiny, tiny approach with tiny hole into the spine that doesn't require stitches. And once it's inside, it produces heat, frictional heat. This is going to end up uh, destroying the tissue and allows us to inject the cement immediately after that to stabilize the vertebral body. What is the recovery time? We can perform this procedure in a day hospital setting or max in a, like one night stay with us. Most of the patients uh, feel pain relief immediately post-procedurally. Uh, generally, as being described, that max of 24, 48 hours, they are going to experience the vast majority of the pain relief. How does this technology help treat vertebral fractures? Uh, this is an uh, angel machine. So what we use, we use the x-ray like guidance. So we can figure out exactly the anatomy, means how the vertebral body looks. Uh, we are going to go through step by step with these two small needles into this vertebral body. And once we reach the optimal position, we are going to inject the cement. We are going to use all the other tools that we described before. So this machine utilizes x-ray and we can have a, um, a real-time view of what we are doing interprocedurally without making big cut at the level of the skin. 